we're gonna wrap this little teeny tiny piece of iridescent blue seashell with some 24 gauge wire we're gonna double up the wire because it's so thin so we'll be wrapping with double wire just bring the two ends together and then you pull it tight all the way down to the loop and then with this double wire now it's doubled you come back to the middle and you make your uh, bale from the middle just like that and you can come around a few times so I'm gonna I'm gonna come around twice which will make it actually four strands like that and then twist double twist okay so there's our bale it's not perfect um, you can uh, mess with a little bit with your pliers try to try to get it a little more uh, uniform but it's gonna move about while you're uh, assembling the piece so don't worry about it too much you'll you'll have a chance to play with it more at the end and also you know it might move more into where you want it to be anyway so we're gonna get let's see what's we'll use th this will be the front this will be the top like that so um, I'm gonna have this I'm gonna have it come around like this. I'm gonna give it a little wiggle right here. And then I'm gonna have these two. I'm gonna twist them about three times. Now there's this has no hole drilled on it, so that makes it extra fun. I think I'll uh, give another little twist there I'm gonna lay this flat against the edge and then come back up to the bale at the top and wrap it around once this way and then once the other way and up oh, no I thought that would grab it but it's not still able to slide right out so we're gonna have to do some more let's go around the back let's do a double twist here and we'll uh, bring it together right here in the front now Instead of double twist, I'm going to do a swirl. I think that will work just as well. And I think that will tighten it up so it can't slide out. Yeah, seems to be working. So we'll come around here. We're running out of wire. Not much left for any too much more designs. What should we do here? I think I'm just going to take these two strands and bring them up to the top and scarf it. Just cut them right there halfway across. Tuck it in. All right, this guy, let's see, what can we do here? Just gonna make a loop. Just one little final loop to give it a little, a little a decoration. Now that loop's all messed up. Let's back it up a little bit, see if we can get it to go right. There we go. All right, let's hold that tight so it doesn't get weird again. And then we'll scarf this up a little higher. 
And that's about it. Tuck that in. Let's give this a few twists. All right, now we'll tuck this in right here. This is a tiny little guy. All right, what's going on in the front here? We have this pretty swirl, and then we just have a whole bunch of lines. And we can, we can put some uh, crimps in them to make them more interesting. Make sure it's still tight. It's not going to slide out. Let's crimp the back. Get that extra tight. So we'll turn the bale this way so we don't need to add jump rings. And we'll uh, stretch out all of the little uh, strands. Give it a nice wide bale. Get them evenly spaced, there we go. Let's get it on a chain. There we go. A little weird, a little different. Somebody will like it, hopefully.